This is the site of the 2009 G8 Summit in L'Aquila, Italy. These meetings started out in the 1970s as ways for the leaders of the industrialized countries of the world to rub shoulders with each other and reaffirm their own judgments about how the world should really work. This really was the executive boardroom of the world. But the world has changed a lot since 1976. Countries like Brazil, India, China, and Russia are now vital parts of the global power structure. And the post-World War institutions like the United Nations seem ineffective in the face of growing global problems like nuclear proliferation, terrorism, piracy, disease pandemics, and more. So what should the G8 do in response? Well, first they need to expand. There are more than 30 heads of state coming to this G8 meeting in L'Aquila. Why not make those guests permanent members? Second, the organizers of the G8 need to see these meetings as part of a larger tapestry of global decision making. How do they integrate what happens here with what happens at the G20, the United Nations, and other formal and informal institutions? Finally, world leaders need to take these meetings more seriously. They need to aim higher. They need to aim for more than just photo ops and inconclusive final communiques. If these presidents and prime ministers are not going to use these meetings to really solve global problems, then where will those problems be addressed? The world can't afford to squander these important opportunities.